Hello, my name is Luke, and today I'm going to be making uh, my 2021 MLB playoff predictions. Let's get into it. The 2021 MLB year has been such a wild ride. Uh, there's been so much cool stuff to watch, from Shohei Otani, obviously, uh, to just seeing the AL wildcard race come uh, down so close, down the stretch. Uh, it's been a great year. It's been great uh, seeing all the fans back in the stands. Um, it's been a really fun year to watch. So many young players getting into the game. And we have come to the uh, the playoffs. We have come to the, uh, the end of the year. October is always, uh, usually always seems to be when uh, baseball is at its best. So to start off with, we have the AL wildcard game. And uh, the AL wildcard race was real close down the stretch between a number of teams. Um, it was really, really fun to watch on the last day. Kind of like, if you remember 2011 with the Rays uh, in that situation, I was kind of young at the time, but um, playoff races are always so captivating and this was uh, a great example of that. So in the Ale Walker game, we have the Yankees um, with Garrett Cole on the mound versus Nathan Evaldi and the Red Sox. Um, this will be a very fun game. Uh, it's at Fenway Park. Battle of the AL East rivals. I'm going to go with the Yankees in this one. Um, I think that Garrett Cole is just going to be a stud for them on the mound. Uh, this team just has too much talent, especially in a wear and takes all game. They're coming off the momentum of a, a walk-off win on the last day of the year behind Aaron Judge. So I think that they're going to pile together and that they're going to advance to the division series. That's my pick. I pick Yankees over the Red Sox. Next, we have uh, the NL log card game, which is also uh, very, very interesting. We have the Dodgers, who um, on paper, you know, they kind of look like baseball's best team. They And they have performed incredibly well this year. It's just the Giants have been such a uh, magical story. But... They got former Nat, Max Scherzer, pitching uh, for them tonight. He still kind of is a national in my view. Like, he played his whole career for us, um, did so well. Anyway, it's a di different topic. Um, staying on topic with the wildcard game, got Max Scherzer for the Dodgers going against Adam Wainwright, still going strong uh, in the back end of his career for the Cardinals. And I got, I got the Dodgers in this one. Um, I'll be rooting for my, my boy Shures to do well, even, uh, even if he is in a different uniform, did so much for the Nationals. Um, I think Shures is going to pitch a great game. I think the pressure is off him now that he has his World Series ring. Uh, I think that he is more freed up to pitch well in, uh, playoff games. If you do remember in 2019, he didn't do great in the playoffs, um, he did pitch, he did pitch game seven, did okay, I think it was like five innings of you know, three or four run ball, but I picked the Dodgers in this one. Uh, the Cardinals are incredibly hot, but at some point, you know, that streak, the uh, the team team's kind of just run out of fuel, and especially against a juggernaut team like the Dodgers. So I picked the Dodgers over the Cardinals in the um, NL wildcard game. Now moving on to the American League Division Series. Uh, we got uh, the Astros and the White Sox in the first one. And then we have, at least, in my, uh, at least with my prediction, the Yankees uh, and the Rays in the next one. Uh, so for the first one, the uh, Yankees uh, and the Rays. I pick the, um, I think I picked the Rays in that one. They uh, have, uh, they were so close last year, and, um, you know, this came down to that, that one game, that game seven. Uh, I think there's such an, I think, I think it's almost overrated that they're underrated, you know, you see all these articles, though, they've raised the most under, underrated team. Um, but, you know, the, the only, it feels like the only time they're being mentioned is when, People are talking about them being underrated, if that makes any sense. 
uh, still an incredibly well-built team versus the White Sox, uh, who they've had such an incredible year. Uh, Lucas Giolito has been great for them. Their whole lineup is so exciting to watch. Luis Robert, Juan, Mon uh, Juan Moncada, Eloy Jimenez. But I pick the uh, the uh, stealth and the um, I think all around leader, all around depth of the Rays in that one. I also think it'll be pretty close. I think it'll be like four games. I think um, it'll be close overall. I think the Rays will just have the edge in the end. And then I pick the in the other one the so for the first one I pick. Uh, it is the, so for the first one, the Yankees and the Rays. I pick the Rays in that one. I think that they have such a well-built team. Uh, everyone, you know, kind of talks about them. The only time that people talk about the Rays is when they're talking about the Rays being underrated. You know, that's like, the, that's the only time where they're actually getting mentioned. Uh, but it's still an incredibly well-built team. Came that close last year, lost in seven games to the Dodgers. But... I think that they'll win uh, this one over the Yankees. Another AL East divisional battle. I think they'll take it down in four games. I think it'll be pretty close, but the Rays will just have the edge in the end. For the other one, which is the Astros and the White Sox, I picked the White Sox for that one. They have such a young, exciting team. I got Juan Moncada, Willie Jimenez, Luis Robert, a really uh, well-built team with the uh, steady leadership of Tony uh, Tony La Russa. Um, I think that they will knock off the Astros, who will have, I think, a good bit of motivation. They'll be really, uh, there will be a good bit of boost for them in the playoffs this year. Uh, still a well-built team, but I pick the White Sox in five, actually. I think they'll be really, really close, um, but one of the young players will step up for the White Sox. Uh, so now in the National League, we have the Giants and the Dodgers, and the uh, in one series, and then we have the Brewers and the Giants. We have the um, Dodgers and the Giants in one series, and then we have the Brewers and the Braves, um, two team, two B teams uh, there. Names that start with a B. And then we have the um, Brewers and the Braves in uh, the other series. So uh, for the Giants and the Dodgers. I picked the Giants. That this improbable story has to keep going. Um, it'll be a really, really fun series to watch. But the Giants just pulling it all together. Buster Posey's had probably his, maybe the best season of his career. Everyone has just stepped up in a, such an incredible way. Uh, the Dodgers, I think, will put up a great fight. Uh, my former Nat boys, Trey Turner and Max Scherzer, will uh, be great for him, I'm sure. But I think the uh, Giants will win four games, uh, still just surprising everyone. And in another series, the Braves versus the Brewers. I like the Brewers in this one. Um, I think their bullpen with Josh Hader and Devin Williams is a very very um, forceful force to be reckoned with. And I like uh, I like their lineup. It's really well built. I think Yelich is going to step up for him. Um, the Braves, they kind of, I feel like, just outlasted everyone in the NL East this year. The Mets and the Phillies had, you know, put up a good fight till the end. The Braves were just I th were the best all-around built team this year. In, in that division, uh, but the losing, their losing ways in the playoffs will continue. I think it'll be close. Uh, five games, the Brewers will step up in the end uh, and take that down. And so, for our league championship series, we have, uh, and at least in my at least in my view, we have the Rays and the White Sox um, in one, and then we have in the National League. We have the Cardinals, sorry, then the National League, we have the uh, Giants and the Brewers. I'll start off with the American League uh, for my predictions, and I'll pick the White Sox. 
I like them. Uh, they're a really fun team to watch, as I just said. I think that uh, Tampa, it'll be a really, really close series. I think it'll be six or seven games, potentially. Uh, but I do pick the White Sox in that one. And then for the National League, the Giants and the Brewers, I pick the Giants. It's like it's like the Nationals in 2019. You know, if you have a team, you know, that, that veteran team, um, remember we had so many veterans in 2019, you can, you can feel the magic burning in the sky, and it'll burn all the way to the World Series. So we have, uh, for our World Series, the Giants versus the White Sox. And I'm going to pick the Giants. Um, something, you know, and it's not like they're, you know, a team that just, came up the, you know, through the month of September, they've won, a, you know, 100 plus games. So, it's, in, it's incredible. I think that they'll win in six games. Uh, Buster Posey will be the MVP for that. And just an incredible, incredible uh, culmination of a um, this remarkable year by the San Francisco Giants. So I think the Giants will win it all. Um, and yeah. I think it'll be a great playoffs, and uh, as as it always is in baseball, and uh, yeah, it'll be awesome to watch. I hope you guys will watch as well. Um, I will be watching with every. I'll be watching every game as much as I can. But thank you for watching. I will be making more videos about baseball, disc golf, whatever is on my heart at that time. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Um, but thank you for watching. And I will see you next later.